Which of these are better? Allegro, SDL, or SFML? Well, which versions are you comparing? Each of them have new versions, either officially out or still in production, but usable. And honestly, I'm kind of tired about the bickering about this, because it doesn't really matter. Uh, they're all very similar, considering that they're all usable with C++. There's not really any huge, earth-shattering reason why one is better than the other. Um, it's basically like choosing what kind of sandwich to eat today. These are very similar. So, when you're choosing one, figure out what you want in your tools, community, and resources. Does the library offer what you want? Um, is there a large community available to ask questions to? Are they friendly? Are there enough tutorials and documentation out there to get you started? Are there other games written with this? Are there open source games that you could look at? Um, I've gotten to the point as a programmer where I've been choosing libraries and stuff based on what they offer me, not based on what's the most popular, or what's the prettiest, or the easiest, or the hardest. Um, I've been using libgdx even though I have to use Java, but it offers me Windows, Linux, P uh, Mac, Android, and Web5 just right once, deploy everywhere sort of functionality, and that's worth it to me. I'm learning Django because even though I have to use Python, it offers me a specific set of features that I want. So maybe I'm not comfortable with Python, but that's what I'm using because of what it gives me. And that's what's important. So it's not about one being easier or more difficult, which one is more object-oriented, or even which one lets you scale your graphics. Because spoilers, all three of these are hardware rendered now. It's about what helps you meet your ends. What's going to help you do your job? So, in the past I've learned Allegro 4, that's what I started with, then I learned SDL 1.2, and then I learned SFML 1.6. Like I said in my latest Q&A video, learning one thing doesn't hinder you from learning another, so there's no reason to tell somebody that they're wrong for their choice. So stop bashing other libs for a moment, and I will give you a breakdown of the new versions of all three perfectly competent libraries. In fact, I'm planning on doing tutorials on these further down the road, just probably not in January. I'd first like to point out that all three of these libraries are now hardware rendered. Allegro 4 and SDL1 were both rendered in software, but you could couple them up with OpenGL. With the latest versions, you can still use them with OpenGL, but by default their rendering, whether 2D or 3D, is hardware rendered, so you can do all the neat little sprite warping and recoloring effects. If you don't know what hardware rendering is, it is essentially using your video card to handle the graphics, whereas with software rendering, everything would be handled by the CPU. When you have hardware rendering available, your game's performance will be better, and you'll be able to do special actions like rotation, scaling, and recoloring your sprites, since video cards are more efficient at handling graphics than the CPU is. All three are cross-platform, and you can use all three with OpenGL as well. All of these latest libraries are under the Zlib license, too. Basically, you can use these libraries for any reason, for fun, to sell, etc., and you don't have to credit the libraries, though referencing them would be nice. You're free to distribute or modify the source code of the actual library itself, so long as you keep the license text and don't misrepresent who worked on the library itself. So in other words, don't claim that you wrote SDL unless you really did write SDL. All of these work with C++, though SFML is the only one that won't work with C. Allegro and SDL are written with C, and SFML is written with C++, so there are nuances to both, and what you choose is a matter of personal preference. Since all of these latest libraries are still relatively new, it may be hard to find tutorials on each of them. This will get better as time goes on, and there is always the documentation and example code that you can investigate. So, what kind of functionality do the libraries feature? Allegro 5 was officially released in February of 2011. If you look at the documentation, you will see that Allegro 5 offers quite a few things. 
They're your basics like graphics, audio, fonts, keyboard, joystick, mouse, and timers. And there are also some shiny features like states, Unicode support, file system handling in case your program is cross-platform, memory management, and even threads. You can also hook in Allegro 5 with either OpenGL or Direct3D for your 3D rendering. And Allegro 5 currently supports iPhone and the next version is going to support Android. The IRC community on Freenode is a great channel. It's usually pretty active and most people are friendly. There's also an Allegro forum on the Allegro.cc website. And Allegro.cc has a nice directory of games made with Allegro. STL2 is marked as still under construction. You can still pull down the latest code from the Mercurial repository and use it, however. STL offers your basics, graphics, input, audio timers, but the shiny features of STL are threading, file system abstraction, as well as power management, force feedback, and obtaining platform and CPU information. There are extension libraries you can download as well, such as SDL image for loading different image file types beyond bitmaps, SDL net for socket support, and SDL GFX for your surface rotations and such. SDL also has an official message board and an IRC channel on Freenode, but I'm not part of these communities, so I'm not familiar with how active they are. SFML2 is currently in beta, but available for you to use whenever you'd like. SFML is different from Allegro and SDL in that it was written with C++, so it will handle certain things for you through the magic of C++ objects, such as destroying images so you don't have to. However, because SFML has its own structure, if you're writing a framework or engine with it, it could possibly get in your way. Your design might clash with SFML's design. I've run into this before, so you have to consider how you're structuring your framework before jumping in. SFML has five core modules, audio, graphics, network, system, and window. Basically the same core basics that you would find from any game programming library. The shiny features are the network module, which allows you to do TCP and UDP networking applications, and the system module has support for threading and Unicode. SFML has a pretty good tutorial on its own website for the basics of using SFML. I don't know what the community is like. I haven't seen an SFML channel on Freenode, but I know they do have an official forum you can go to. So how do I figure out which library to use? Well, I don't know. You can choose based on features, if anyone has something that you want that others don't. Or otherwise, I guess I would just go through some of the tutorials or look at some of the community. Go join the IRC, say hi, see if they're friendly. You know, ask newbie questions, see if they get on your case about that or if they're helpful. So, no, you know, no, I mean, no. in the long run, it doesn't matter that much. You can always change your mind. Whoa. Choices. It's an oven mitt. <laughs>